Born at the dawn of the Great Depression in 1929 in Oklahoma City, into a family with three older brothers, Lee Allen Smith describes what he was like as a kid. I guess I was perfect. <laughs> That's what my mother thought. I was just like any other kid, but it was different living back then. Uh, you think about all this 100 degree weather, uh, we didn't have air conditioning at home or in the car, uh, but we got along fine and we were able to leave the windows open, the door open, and turn the fan on and uh, put a big tub of ice in a, bu in a bucket to let the fan blow on that to cool us. But I did everything other kids did, uh, would do, uh, bicycle riding and playing kick the can and those kind of things. Just uh, we played and then uh, dinner bell would ring, we'd all eat around five o'clock. Lee Allen grew up, went to OU, joined the Air Force, and when he got home, he met the girl of his dreams. Went to a basketball game one night, looked across the court and saw this girl and found out who she was. And I remember the color of sweater she had on and all those good things. Found out she's from Grandfield, Oklahoma, and uh, so I kind of chased her down. And uh, we, she moved uh, after she graduated. She's seven years younger than I am. And I thought that was the one, and she was, and we got married in February. Uh, I told everybody it's gonna be a cold day. We got married in February of 1960. So we will have been married uh, 52 years in February 13. Always the consummate salesman, Lee Allen started his business career selling clothes. I was a sales manager for WKY Radio came in. I sold him quite a few clothes, and. He went back to, to John Moeller, who was the manager, and suggested that we hire, that they hire me, and they did. So I started WKY Radio and became sales manager a short time later and moved on into television and was with the Gaylord Broadcasting Company for 22 years. And I stayed with them, and then when uh, general manager at Channel 4, Norman Bagwell, passed away, I was hired to, to manage and become president and general manager of, of uh, then KTVY, which is now KFOR. The Channel 4 days were filled with blazing new territory in television and sharing stages with celebrities. Lee Allen worked hard in his position and made the Gaylords and his new owners a lot of money. But a change of ownership again forced a move for Lee Allen to Ackerman McQueen. It's a, a fabulous agency and uh, has great clients and, and good people there working also. So those days were terrific. Well, I was vice chairman for a while and uh, tried to get new accounts for them and, and had some success in doing that and they had me doing other things and they started Oklahoma events with me at the helm and uh, they allowed me to take that with me when I, did, when I left there. Always a patriot, Lee Allen cites several events he enjoyed. The Stars and Stripes show he did in the 70s at KTVY, the Olympics celebration, the dedication of the Civic Center Music Hall, and the centennial celebration. We had events going on for seven years. Macy's Parade for three years in the Rose Bowl where we had, we took over the Rose Bowl, frankly. The proud thing again is the sponsors, the volunteers, and the Oklahomans that were proud to call Oklahomans that are such great stars with Carrie Underwood and Toby Keith and Vince Gill and Reba McIntyre and Garth Brooks and on and on and on. There was a lot of talent on that stage that night but it takes a lot of talent to bring all of those hundreds of volunteers and celebrities together. And Lee Allen Smith was that man. My mother encouraged me to respect and love my community and love the country. And uh, my friends today still remember when they'd come by to pick me up because I had no car at the time. Uh, they'd hear my mother yell out, be a good American, be good on the inside. I don't know how those two came out for sure, but I tried to, to live out what she says. Lee Allen is still living out those two things today as he continues working at OK Events. His three grown daughters, Delee, Jennifer, and Wendy, help him with promotions, and Deanne, his wife of over a half a century, is frequently at his side. This gentle, polite, soft-spoken man, who is quick to smile and makes all feel welcome, easily earns the title of the book written about him, Oklahoma's Best Friend. His patriotism, love of community, and a boatload of events over the years is why Lee Allen Smith is the beneficiary of the Oklahoma City University's Minder School of Business Lifetime Achievement Award.